फाइव सेकेंड्स मैडम वन मोर थिंग दैट आई हैव टू टेल इज दैट द एग्जिस्टिंग फोरकास्टिंग मैकेनिज्म हैज टोटली फेल्ड इन एंटीसिपेटिंग दीज शॉर्टेजेस इवन एज लेट एज इन सेप्टेंबर नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट द बंपर खरीफ अनियन क्रॉप वॉज फोरकास्ट एंड द कॉन्सिक्वेंट रिटर्न टू द नॉर्मेलिसी वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड द प्राइम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द नेशनल लेवल फोरकास्टिंग लाइज विद द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हु हैव द ओवरऑल पिक्चर ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन एट वेरियस स्टेजेस इन डिफरेंट स्टेट्स बट दिस हैज नॉट बीन लुकड इन टू by the government the status of import and export at the national consumption requirement which leads to accurate and more reliable forecast has also not been managed by the government we have seen that leaving essential commodities to the vagaries of market forces of demand and supply leads definitely to price rise public distribution system has a definite policy for market intervention in rice wheat and sugar so there is a need for the government policy supported by legislation and infrastructure for management of these commodities all these should be managed by a designated agency who can handle the procurement and marketing of these commodities this designated agency should be controlled and funded by the union government and the state government should accord cooperation and coordination through the identified state government undertakings for managing the state level distribution there is a serious allegation that wholesalers and traders by way of hoarding and speculation are primarily responsible for the price rise and much has been said about the essential commodities act so hoarding must be checked and stringent action must be taken against the hoarders there is also price rise at the major centers of cultivation and production and it becomes exceedingly difficult for the consuming states to control the prices of those commodities which are imported from other states the government should ensure free movement of all essential commodities into the state and also ensure that wholesalers and traders keep their profit margin to the minimum the government should ensure that the government undertakings and cooperatives the minister has said just now should enter the market and sell all the essential commodities without profit it should also take stringent steps against black marketers and hoarders the pre fixation of prices of free trade commodities under the essential commodities act should be made more effective to make it more effective price fixation needs to be done at the centers of the cultivation production and wholesale trade and on this basis the consuming states should fix the price giving all allowance for transportation handling storage and trade management the government should also seriously consider fixing a minimum support price for protecting the farmers as well as giving maximum sale price to protect the consumers against the price rise the minister has already said about the high fluctuation in the price of vegetables which is a matter of great concern to all of us because 
the vegetables have become an essential part of the common man's diet different vegetables grow in different seasons during off season to get the vegetables one has to depend on the neighboring states but the vegetables that are grown during season should be preserved for the rest of the year and for this we do not have any facilities for cold storage appropriate technology should be developed to store vegetables in small cold storages liberal subsidies should be provided to develop cold chain infrastructure linking vegetable producing areas of one state to another state for export of vegetables the subsidies available from the national horticulture board and the ministry of food processing are difficult to access the ncdc scheme of cold storage has a very high cost of borrowing these schemes should carry concessional rate of interest for poorer states having inadequate infrastructure we strongly urge upon the government to take up necessary short term as well as long term measures to control the present price situation as well as to prevent the recurrence the prices are pushed up because of the mismanagement in economy by the government there is a huge laxity on the part of the government the government should wake up now we have already heard from the agriculture minister and the government should take urgent steps in this regard we know that the government has exploded a nuclear bomb but it has failed complete, completely to curb the price explosion during the last few months there has been an upward spiral of prices of all essential commodities particularly of oil pulses rice onions and other vegetables the problem was faced by all the people of india particularly the poor people we should all feel sorry for this sorrowful plight of the common man the reasons are many its effect on the poor man's suffering is very large the government should ensure proper coordination between ministries of agriculture food and civil supplies